Hello and happy Halloween everybody. Welcome back to my channel and today in Hardcore Minecraft we're going to be celebrating Halloween by decorating the house behind me and by building a farm in the process. Also, um, in a kind of related note but also like sort of funny coincidence we need to spend a lot of time in the nether today uh, because we're going to need some quartz for the farm that we're going to build and that involves obviously going to the nether now you may remember last episode we built this orchard and i must say it's really grown into its sort of full potential quite literally and yeah it just looks really really good the trees are all sort of lined up very nicely and yeah it's just quite picturesque to walk down look at the leaves even stop for the path uh, i haven't had to chop anything away it just this is just well i planned it out pretty well so that we could get a, a path in here and i this is my favorite section with the acacia here and the jungle there and the yeah it's just fantastic but yeah last episode while we were making this we had to get rid of our nether portal over here so that means we're going to need to find a location for a new nether portal and I'm not sure where to put it. Oh my gosh, would you look at this? <laughs> I think they all want revenge for last episode. By the way, if you haven't watched last episode, please go back and watch it. It was quite fun. Uh, fun to make, fun to watch and all around good fun. Last episode, we actually broke a milestone on this channel for the most views I've ever got on one of my Let's Play videos within the first few days of it launching. So again, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate your support and I would also appreciate if you could leave a like and a comment down below. It helps me out with the algorithm, but also I just like interacting with you guys. I really like answering your comments and, and questions, but also just talking to you. Um, it's quite nice. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Let's get to building this portal before we get blown up by some creepers. So I remembered we've got this area right here. And I thought, well, I may as well use this. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Okay, we'll light it up. And inside we go. Oh my gosh, these guys. <laughs> There's pillagers everywhere. They must have got to a portal. I can't believe they're in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hell of a surprise. Okay, so we're back out here, and now I need to find some quartz. And also, I've brought my my silk touch pick so that I can get some nylium, so that we can grow our nether trees. And I've also forgot my gold, so this area really isn't very fun right now. <laughs> I'm probably going to die. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure there's piglings right above me, so I'm a little bit worried <laughs> that they're going to come for me. I'm wearing no gold. I really should have got some. If I find some, I'll try and craft some up, though. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, here they are. Oh, straight away they came for me. Oh, that's an issue. Well, at least this sword is pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Okay, I'm not liking this position. I hate the fact that I'm just surrounded by lava and I could die at any point. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually going to need some of these for my farm later, so I'm going to try and mine up as many of them as I can while I'm here. Oh, thank God, I found some... I found some gold. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's craft a helmet. That'll help a bunch. Right, guys, I think I've got everything I need. I wasn't able to find a warped forest, unfortunately. I'm going to have to have a real good look for one of those in the future, though. So I've got a bit of nylium for my um, crimson trees, at least. But I have at least got plenty of quartz and plenty of these uh, shroom lights. So that should be enough for us to get on with our farm for today. So I'm just going to dump all of this stuff off and then I'm going to meet you at spawn because we actually need to go to our very first mineshaft that we found. Do you guys remember that? I do. It was scary. <laughs> and just like that, we're back at spawn and I am avoiding this outpost today like the plague. <laughs> Uh, although our friend is actually still over there beating off those those poor pillagers who are now are haunted at their own house. <laughs> Very topical, that. So here's our old mine shaft. It's down here. And the reason that I'm here and I've forgotten the main thing, I need to get some iron. We're going to need some shears, but I need to get some cobwebs because I want to add cobwebs to our house to decorate it. Okay, here we are. Gosh, does this bring back memories. Now, I think if we go, it must be, oh, out. Oh, there's the zombie spawner. What way is it? It must be this way. I'm sure there was a bunch of spider um, spawners around here some way. Well, would you look at this? I found a geode. Oh, and a creeper. <laughs> and a skeleton. Okay, let's shoot those. 
Oh, I can actually use this geode for decoration purposes. Oh, what a, what a lovely find. And well, I fully harvested that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could really use the uh, all of the different block combinations there for decorating the house. So I've taken them all and I've got a pair of shears at the same time. So now it's just a case of gathering up as many cobwebs as I can find. So we're back home at last and I've got everything that I need. Now I've laid out a plot over here so that we can get started on building our farm. And in keeping with the Halloween theme, we're going to be making a pumpkin farm because we're going to be using them later on to decorate our house. Now I've built this a gajillion times on camera for everyone to see. Um, but what I'll do is I'll... I guess I'll build it and then I'll just come back and show you all at the end. But it's fairly simple. I've got a tutorial on it on my channel if you guys want to build it. And I'll link that down in the description. And here we have it, guys. We've finally completed the farm. It's a very simple design. Like I said, I've got a tutorial on it. Go and take a look. But basically, I've got pumpkin seeds. Um, and then I've got a bunch of observers. Oh, no, I haven't finished it. <laughs> I haven't finished it. I actually need to place redstone here in between all the cracks. Um, but then it'll be finished. So yeah, so basically there's um, observer, then a piston, then an observer, then a piston. And um, surprisingly, it doesn't actually use very many resources because, um, well, it's it's not too big, but you can stack this and then obviously it will use more resources, but it's quite quick, quite efficient. Uh, there's not many cases in single player where you will actually need to stack it. Um, it was originally created by Il Mango, I believe. Okay, so pumpkin farm is complete. The next thing we need to do is to work on the house and we're going to have the pumpkin farm running in the background while we're doing that because we're going to need some pumpkins to make this place look extra spooky for halloween i'm not really sure what i'm going to do to it yet but hopefully by the uh by the, by the next time you see me it will look amazing <laughs> let's cross our fingers because i'm really not very good at this <laughs> it's me, Skeleton Gwent, here to spook you all. Do you know what? I've just realised I probably should have decorated the orchard behind me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've decorated the house. Now, guys, listen. I gave you a disclaimer earlier on. I am not very good at this. And it may just look a little bit, you know, all thrown together. But that's just something you're going to have to expect from me. Because <laughs> when it comes to actually decorating... Well, I'm not very good at it, but I think I've done an okay job and I've got to get a move on before the zombie comes and gets us behind me. Just spawned in over there. How fitting for Halloween. This is it. Look at this. Let's start off over here. I've created this sort of like overgrown sort of pond thing. Ooh, with some skeletons and some candles and mud. Oh, I love the mud. Oh, it's good. And actually, when you walk close to the, to the water, it slows you down because the mud is actually like... Uh, slightly less of a block oh here he comes mr S mr zombie gotcha oh quick let's let's finish off showing this off before it turns day out here um then i've got got this little circle over here with a skull and some blood oh gore some sort of seance thing must have gone on over here a pumpkin pile because um well you've got to keep your pumpkins in piles everybody 
<laughs> then we've got some of these red bushes. We've got a pumpkin sort of skeleton thing over here. A, a pumpkin man. And then look, we've got a guillotine and a head on the floor. Oh no, and some blood. Ooh, yucky. And then we've got these, I don't know, these red things. These come down. Let's take a look at the house as a, as a whole, I suppose. Um, yeah, this was all thrown together. Didn't have a clue what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I told you, you can't expect much from me. I've tried my very best. You'll be pleased to know my actual house in real life looks way better than this because Mrs. Gwent is a sucker for Halloween. Like, she spends all of my hard-earned money, and her hard-earned money, I shouldn't just say it's all mine, but she spends a whole lot of money on decorating our house on Halloween. So please, feel for little old Gwent. I'm very poor right now. <laughs> uh, we actually had a Halloween party recently and I went to Shaggy from Scooby-Doo Scooby she went as Velma and I've got two daughters one went as Daphne and the other one went as a ninja <laughs> we wanted her to be Scooby-Doo but she didn't want to be it so a ninja it was but we actually we threw a party in the house. It was real good fun. Had all the family round, you know, that all all of that stuff. What did you guys do for your Halloween? Uh, I well, or what what are you guys going to do for your Halloween? I should probably say, yeah, it's a, a couple of days before Halloween. Yeah, we, ha we had our Halloween party a couple of days early. Um, so yeah, we've got some cobwebs. We've got some of this hanging, I don't know, vine stuff. Look, there's a skelly out here on the pathway. We've changed the path for for this purple stuff. We've got some candles over here. And some chains and some cobwebs. And inside, we've got... I forgot what this is called. What's this called again, guys? Um, oh, I know this. Have I still got it in my inventory? I don't. <laughs> we've got this stuff on the floor anyway. Got some vines, got some cobwebs, got some lanterns down. Um, got some, you know, some more of these candles. But yeah, uh, inside looking pretty good. Got uh, some more cobwebs. Just cobwebs everywhere, basically. That's what I've gone for cobwebs absolutely everywhere and that's the inside i'm pretty happy with that turned out okay it's going to be a bit of a shorter episode today guys unfortunately because i've had a bunch of stuff to do around my actual house in real life getting it ready for halloween and for the party and actually having the party and entertaining and getting a little bit drunk just a little bit drunk not too much and yeah it's been a good couple of days but it has meant i've had less time for recording so this is where i'm gonna have to leave you all now remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and also please leave me a comment what did you think of my halloween house and what are you going to be doing for halloween today once again thank you all very much for watching i'm gwent gamer goodbye